Hey, what's up guys? This is Furia again, back with another Minecraft Dungeons video. In today's guide, I will show you the best artifact combos for your Minecraft Dungeons adventures. We're going to check out three different artifact loadouts. One of them is ideal for your first playthrough. It gives you all the tools to have enough survivability and damage to deal with all the most difficult situations. Then I will also share the ultimate loadout to destroy bosses. These artifacts will give you tons of burst damage and also weaken the boss so you will be able to take them down in only seconds. And then last but not least we also have the perfect speedrun artifacts. This loadout will allow you to loot big generated maps like the creepy crypt and lower temple in only minutes and you will get your hands on tons of uniques as well as emeralds of course. Simply put you can reach your destination in the blink of an eye. And by the way guys, this is a beginner guide, so if you are already on the Max Apocalypse difficulty, dealing with all the situations without a problem, also have your max power level with the best enchantments or your weapons and armor, well then maybe this video is not exactly what you're looking for, but of course it cannot harm to refresh your knowledge a little bit. Also, if you are new to the channel and enjoy watching my content, definitely make sure you hit that like button and also subscribe for more because a lot more Minecraft Dungeons content is coming your way. I'm making videos almost on the daily and it helps me out a lot if you could just press that like button and subscribe. So guys, thanks a lot. It is very much appreciated. All right, so here we are guys at the base camp. Currently, I am on level 201. I've played this game for quite some time, made a lot of videos since the beginning of Minecraft Dungeons. But um, we are also playing on the Apocalypse difficulty, which you can see right here. This is the last difficulty which you can unlock after you have tackled both the default difficulty and the adventure difficulty. You'll be able to get your hands on the Apocalypse difficulty and uh, this one actually is the most challenging and fun one. And this also gets you the best loot in the game. So this is the highest power level here which you can find. So how do you get there? Well, of course, you're gonna have to deal with some difficult levels, some tough boss fights. And um, my first artifact loadout will help you with that a lot. So um, we already have them equipped right here. So the three artifacts I'm talking about are the Soul Healer, the Deathcap Mushroom, and then also the Iron Hide Amulet. The combination of these three items will give you a lot of survivability, a lot of sustainability, and then at the same time, you will also be able to deal with bosses without a problem because we can also have some extra attack and movement speed with the Deathcap Mushroom. So first off, the Soul Healer, why are we taking this one? Well, I think this is a very important thing because early in the game, you won't be able to heal yourself all the time. I currently have a really nice enchantment on my weapon, which is called Radiance. This one actually got nerfed a lot in the last uh, Jungle Awakens DLC update. So in my opinion, it is actually a lot better to go for another kind of healing. For example, let me see, uh, do we have an example right here? Um, leeching, leeching is really nice, this one right there. On the maximum level, this will heal you for 9% of your max HP, but then also on some items, you will be able to get your hands on another type of healing. And this is actually my favorite, guys, the Anima Conduit. I am going to make another video for this one later on, but um, if you don't have all those heals, if you don't have access to that early in the game, you definitely want to have something that complements your healing potion. This one has 45 seconds cooldown, so if you use it, it takes a lot of time in order to get it back. But the Soul Healer only has a 5 seconds cooldown. And the cool thing is you can just keep using it as long as you have the souls. Uh, every time when you kill a monster, you will gather some souls. And if you have stacked it up to the maximum, which you can see right here on the soul bar, then uh, you can use it for a couple times. So then you pretty much have a lot of potions in your backpack and you can use them every five seconds. And second, we have the death cap mushroom. And this one is very interesting when you are fighting against big packs of mobs or dealing with bosses. The boss fights can be very difficult if you're lacking damage, but the death cap mushroom provides all that stuff. Uh, the duration is almost 14 seconds on this 112 power level death cap mushroom. And the cooldown is about 30 seconds. But uh, the cool thing is, if you have armor with cooldown reduction, then you can actually use it a lot more often. And this brings us to, um, of course, um, some armor enchantments. We're gonna focus on that in the video tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. But right now, look at this, guys. This is my regular attack speed with the death cap mushroom. 
It's not that fast, especially not with the Glaive. But when you activate the Death Cat Mushroom, wow, you can just burst and deal so much damage. And at the same time, of course, the Radiance and the Gravity will proc a lot faster, as well as my uh, critical hit, actually. So um, that is a really nice thing if you were fighting against uh, those mobs and bosses. Then, last but not least, we also have the Ironhide Amulet. And this one is insanely good against bosses or mobs that deal a lot of damage. For example, the Creepers. When a Creeper walks towards you, all you have to do is use your Ironhide Amulet and then the Creeper will explode, but you will not go to heaven because this Ironhide Amulet will block or prevent like 60% of the damage dealt to you. So it will permanently make you a big tank uh, if you have a lot of cooldown reduction what you can do is just keep spamming these two artifacts look at that first death cap mushroom then also the iron hide amulet you can see the cooldown right there this will um be for another nine and eight seconds up but right now my cooldown is already refreshed so i can just press them again so these buffs will actually never go away so i will always have an increased attack speed i will always be a little bit more tanky and i will always walk a little bit faster as well so right now this makes us a tank that can actually deal a lot of damage um, very quickly. So that is really nice. In my opinion, these are definitely the number one uh, artifacts which you should get. And then the soul healer is the number three. But um, if you, for example, have enough healing on your weapon, you could also go with the gong of weakening because this one uh, makes your enemies a little bit weaker and um, that will allow you to deal a lot more damage to them as well. So now you're probably wondering where can I get my hands on these items, especially if you're new to the game, this is very important. Well, good news, the first item uh, can actually be found on the first level. Look at that, Death Cap Mushroom. If you advance a little bit further into the game uh, and unlock the Soggy Swamp, you can also get your hands on the Soul Healer. The Ironhide Amulet unlocks a little bit further in the game. Uh, the earliest you will get it at the Fiery Forge, but um, actually the Ironhide Amulet is something that you will only need um, starting at Adventure and also at the tougher bosses. For example, on the Desert Temple, and the Obsidian Pinnacle, you will have some pretty difficult bosses, but um, you can actually tackle them on the default without the Ironhide Amulet. And then as alternative for the Soul Healer, we also have the Gong of Weakening. This one can be found at the Desert Temple, but if you have already played through the entire first default difficulty, you can actually find it on the Secret Cow level as well. Look at that. So this first loadout allows you to play through the game quite easily. I think it is very enjoyable to use. Um, if you have suggestions, you can always leave them in the comments down below. Share what you like to use uh, during your playthrough. But I think the Death Cap Mushroom and the Ironhide Amulet are definitely must-haves for your loadout. The third one is pretty much up to you, but I definitely prefer the Soul Healer because it will give you a lot more survivability. Okay, so now it is time for our boss killing loadout. Uh, this is something that many people use, especially to fight against the mushroom monstrosity. But um, some people even use two of the same artifacts in this loadout. In my opinion, it's a little bit strange because if you have enough cooldown reduction, well, you don't need that. But the things we are talking about right now are also the death cap mushroom and then the gong of weakening. Many people do it exactly like this. So they have one death cap mushroom and then two times gong of weakening. Because if you don't focus on the cooldown reduction and have a lot of damage enchantments on your armor and your weapons, well, Guys, your gear will look exactly like this. Normally, it would uh, attack like this, but uh, if you activate these two artifacts, wow, man, you can deal so much damage. So um, pretty much a short explanation for this loadout. First one, Death Cap Mushroom gives you a lot of attack speed, a little bit of movement speed, but then with the Gong of Weakening, you will pretty much weaken your boss target, so you will be even able to deal more damage to it. So here is a clip where I destroy the Arc Illager in only a matter of seconds. So there's really not much to it, all you have to do is activate your artifacts and just keep spamming your attacks. Uh, you can also combine this with ranged weapons, but I think these work very well. So that's it for the second loadout. 
And then last but not least, guys, we have the speedrun combo. In my opinion, this one is the most efficient and most fun one to use. Um, if you already got your hands on a pretty nice weapon and piece of armor with some cooldown reduction, for example, well, then these three bad boys will allow you to travel very quickly so you can get your hands on tons and tons of chests and emeralds in no time. So you will be able to gather so many things efficiently, just like I did right here with all those uniques. So we are focusing on the ghost cloak the death cap mushroom and then also the boots of swiftness and why are we taking exactly these three well these are the three artifacts that all grant bonus movement speed and this one actually makes you very quick and also uh, allows you to walk through mobs so the ghost clock is really nice and then um, the death cap mushroom like i explained earlier gives you some attack speed and movement speed at the same time so you can actually clear mobs very quickly if you have to but at the same time run away very quickly if you don't wanna then the boost of swiftness has a pretty short duration, but also a very short cooldown. So what you're going to do is pretty much keep spamming these boots if you have the cooldown reduction for it. Okay, so let me open the map quickly. I see 13 chests right here. I want to get my hands on them as quick as possible. So what I'm going to do right now is just spam my artifacts and get to that objective as quick as possible. This is the farm on the lower temple, which allows you to get tons and tons of uniques as well as emeralds. So what we're going to do is just pass through all these mobs and look at that they are can't even hit us they can't deal any damage because we are so fast the attack animation is uh, triggering <laughs> when we are already meters away uh, we're taking this chest we're just going to the next room and um, yeah you can see how efficient this is going so I already showed you guys how you can get your hands on the Soul Healer, the Death Cap Mushroom and also the Ironhide Amulet. And of course, if you're not going to use the Soul Healer, um, the Gong of Weakening. But um, for the Ghost Cape, you actually only have to go uh, to the Creepy Crypt. This one drops both the Boots of Swiftness and the Ghost Cloak. So um, you will can actually find two right there. On the Creeper Woods itself, you can also find the Boots of Swiftness, which is really awesome. And um, if it is not really your priority to get your hands on that speed gear as quick as possible then you will also find uh, the ghost cloak right there um, of course on the uh, jungle awakens dlc there are also some drops of the items i mentioned for example on the dinghy jungle you can find the ironhide amulet as well then on the panda plateau nothing special but on the overgrown temple you can also find the soul healer Okay, so guys, thank you very much for watching. That was pretty much everything uh, I wanted to explain. Uh, this is pretty much a noob tutorial or for people that are just new to the game. Um, I think these three artifact combos are very useful. They can get you very far in the game and um, of course uh, allow you to tackle with the default and adventure difficulty without a problem. And then later on uh, farm for those power level, uh, there's max power level items in no time. So guys, if you enjoyed watching that video, definitely make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe for more if you're new to the channel. Right now, it is 4am out. I'll see you in the next one.